The Alway Sewer Separation Project impacted the areas that we call sort of the Huron Avenue and the Concord Avenue neighborhoods. About 20 years ago, the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority made a commitment to do 35 projects throughout the area to reduce the amount of combined sewer overflows going towards the Boston Harbor. When it rained, the water goes into a pipe that's the same pipe that your sewage goes into. And during a normal day, that system works really well. But during large rain events, the pipes can't handle it. As part of this project, we were able to install separate sewer and drainage systems. And so now when you flush your toilet or take a shower, that goes into one pipe and the rainwater goes into a separate pipe. The stormwater wetland in Alewife was one of the first new pieces added to the long-term control plan for sewer separation. Uh, the wetland was needed so that we could send the newly separated stormwater to the Alewife Brook. But before it could be discharged to the brook, we needed to find a way of slowing down that stormwater discharge and then treating it for water quality. So the wetland system itself was a collaborative design effort with the landowner, Department of Conservation and Recreation, and the MWRA and other stakeholders. It has a series of open water channels deep marsh, emergent marsh, and high marsh systems for various wildlife habitat, the area has been transformed. It's really now an area where there's, you have your commuter folks going along the multi-use path. There are bikers, there's walkers, there's people with strollers, there's people out just enjoying the wetland system and the newly created paths. The stormwater wetland was first envisioned in the early 2000s. And it wasn't until 2013 when the wetland itself was established and functioning that sewer separation project upstream could begin. Now the construction is done, what you see are the finishing touches. And I think those are the things that people really notice. What people don't see are all the utility upgrades. Because Cambridge is so old, um, a lot of our distribution system in that area was over 100 years old. Uh, had been in continuous operation. This project also allowed us to go into the, uh, a lot of the neighborhoods, upgrading over six miles of uh, the water mains. Over 100 lead services were replaced and upgraded to copper. We added 34 new fire hydrants, which um, is critical to uh, the city maintaining their AAA fire protection rating. The, the thing with uh, water main work is, yes, it's buried underground, People do not see the changes, you know, the upgrades and, and the work that goes into replacing those. But what they will see uh, is improved water quality, improved water reliability, less leaks and therefore, you know, we have to shut their water services off less frequently and better control of, of the system. In addition to the very important sewer separation work that involved over 10 miles of new drain and sewer, the project improved over 15 miles of sidewalks, seven and a half miles of roadway, and included over 150 new pedestrian ramps. The tail end of the project after many years of hardship was the good stuff, which was the new streets and sidewalks, the new street trees, the improvements for pedestrians, bicyclists, and all users on our uh, West Cambridge streets. The project had a very long and intensive community process that started well in advance of the construction even beginning. We spent a lot of time engaging the neighborhood about um, not only the benefits and goals of the source separation, but also what they'd like to see on their neighborhood streets. We engaged with people about issues related to their personal property and how the construction impacted it, as well as, you know, more broadly what they'd like to see for their community or the business district or other areas of, of construction. And so the city staff and consultants and contractors, you know, really appreciate the level of patience that the public as well as the businesses have shown with the construction and also how engaged they've been each step of the way. The LA Sewer Separation Project has been a great project for all of us to work on. We don't typically work on $100 million worth of construction at a time and you know, so it's been a real opportunity for us. Being involved in this project from its inception, its creation of how are we going to discharge the stormwater and coming up with the concept of the stormwater wetland, permitting it, designing it, and getting it out into construction was personally a great um, opportunity and achievement that I'm very proud of as part of my work with Public Works. 
I spent a lot of time in West Cambridge working on this project in the last five years. I have become um, very familiar with many of the residents out there. It's really been interesting and quite enjoyable. I, now that I'm not there as much, I am actually starting to miss it a little bit.